Ten years and five billion pounds in the making and today the capital's brand new super sewer has been fully connected. A 16 mile tideway tunnel built to divert sewage away from some of the most polluting outflows on the Thames with bosses claiming that almost all overflow spills into the river will be stopped. But critics have long called the project an expensive folly. They say it's not a long term solution to our changing climate. As Sangeeta Kandola reports. London Super Sewer's final pipe, Connector 21, has been activated, all the way from Acton in the west to Stratford in the east, taking 10 years to construct and costing an eye-watering £4.5 billion. This is a massively exciting week for all of us and anyone that loves the River Thames. We've made our final connection, so the river is now being fully protected. Already we've captured 5.5 million tonnes of sewage. Tens of millions of tonnes of sewage has been spilling into the Thames here every year, polluting its waters. And although we can't see it here from street level, deep beneath the water, the new super sewer is working to clean up our waterways. When the existing 150-year-old Victorian sewer gets overloaded, waste and excess stormwater overspills into the Thames. The new super sewer diverts London's most polluting sewage outflows through gigantic tunnels to be washed away and treated. But critics say there's no guarantee the new system can cope in the face of climate change. Is it going to work? Because it's yet to be tested in stormy weather. We're probably the only people in London that are doing all of our rain dances. What we'd really love to see now is some really heavy storms so that we can prove uh, to ourselves and everyone else that the system does work the way it was intended. Tideway believe they have built an infrastructure that will last the test of time. 120 years is what they project and they say it will help promote biodiversity, more plants, insects and birds. New London spaces have also been created along the Thames that the tunnels have been connected. But the £4.5 billion cost, partly footed by Thames water customers, has been hard to swallow. We should be forward into thinking that Thames Water are doing this out of the good of their heart. This is their responsibility to be doing this and customers are going to be paying this um, for their bills. In fact, have been paying for it for, for a number of years now. Um, the reality of our system at the minute is it, it's broken. Um, 40p in every pound that a Thames customer um, pays to Thames goes to either servicing debt or financing dividend payments and we just think that's unacceptable. Okay, this has cost an awful lot of money and we've got no guarantee it's going to work. Um, is it worth it? Well, I think if you ask most people, would you rather have your, your capital city river full of sewage or would you rather it be a healthy environment where I think most people would say that's worth it? The super sewer still has to weather the storm before we know for sure if the state-of-the-art engineering has been effective.